Hi, Earth Angels. Happy Friday. So happy to be here with you. Um, I want to welcome everyone who is going to be here live and everyone who is going to connect with the replay um, to this Facebook Live about angelic pain relief for self-judgment. And I want to say that, you know, I completely understand that really that feeling of self-judgment when you are in pain, um, when you're in physical pain, when you're in, motion, in emotional pain. Um, you know, I know that the self-judgment can just get so loud, right? And get so intense. Hi, Lauren, namaste. Um, that it really actually makes your pain worse, right? It intensifies your pain. The pain, you know, judging the pain um, intensifies the physical pain. And I want to say I completely understand that. A new book, Receiving from Your Angel, Four Practices to Heal Your Pain with Angel Love, and saying a special prayer to the angels of connection to support this Facebook Live, and <laughs> always something to double check. <laughs> Um, I'm going to leave it. Yes. Okay, perfect. Thank you, angels, for um, the uh, strong internet connection for our uh, beautiful transmission. I'm so grateful for your support. And um, yeah, I'm going to be, you know, sharing a teaching and, and um, you know, leading a short meditation infused with angel Reiki um, to offer you some relief. Um, so... If you're new to my work, um, my name is Jill Kempner, angel professional. Um, I served as a massage therapist and a yoga teacher for 20 years before evolving into this work I do as an angel professional. And um, really the focus of my work is to help you heal your body and any pain that you're experiencing with angel love. And um, again, I'm just so happy to be here with you. Uh, again, I'm also a published author because I just wrote and published my first, um, my debut book, Receiving from Your Angels, Four Practices to Heal Your Pain with Angel Love. That's available on Amazon. And um, like I said, I'm gonna be sharing a, a short teaching from that book today. Um, so let me see what else the angels are saying. I always like to check in with them. So, um, you know, I'm really here to serve earth angels, those highly sensitive, highly intuitive souls who are really ready, willing, and able to be a channel of unconditional love. And that being a channel of unconditional love is about self-love and being that channel of love for yourself first, for your pain, for your issues, for your vulnerabilities. And then from that space, you share it with others. Um, so my clients are really very joyful, um, you know, joyful people. They're spiritual, you're optimistic. And, and many of my clients already have a connection to the angels, already have an awareness of their angels, but are in pain, right? There's something, there's some pain, right? Whether that pain is physical pain or emotional pain, that's triggering self-judgment. Uh, that's triggering that wound of um, feeling, being really, really hard on yourself. Um, and I just totally understand that. I completely understand that on many, many levels. You know, and, and self-judgment, right? I was obviously been thinking about this and praying about it and getting downloads and it's, well, personally, it's, it's, it's such a wound for me, um, which is part of why I know I'm here to teach about uh, bringing relief to that <laughs> and angelic relief. Um, you know, it's, it's really this inner harshness, right? It's this beating yourself up. It's being, you know, really, really hard on yourself when you make a mistake, when you fail, when you fall <laughs> or falter or whatever it is, or when you're in pain. Um, and I just know that that just, you know, self-judgment just makes it really hard to connect with your angels. It makes it hard to hear your angels and, 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 and to receive their love. And um, it's just, 
like I said, it's <laughs> I've been going through this for, for many, many years and, and I'm even thinking many, many lifetimes of working to transform that energy of self-judgment and and really to learn how to be loving and kind with myself no matter what. Um, <clears throat> and let me see what else the angels are saying. So, and it was interesting because there's been many times that I have felt the felt the pain of self judgment. It's so interesting because it's like, okay, you know, being in pain. And, and one of the examples that hello, welcome. One of the examples, hi Amy. One of the examples I had given um, when I was in one of the things I was writing was about when I had the shoulder pain and how, you know, when I was a massage therapist and I tore my shoulder and I was in pain and, and just how difficult that was to, to, to navigate and to go through and, and reflecting back on that now, realizing how much suffering I was doing to myself by judging the pain by um, being hard on myself because I was in pain. Like as if the pain wasn't enough, there was all of this inner critic, all of this inner harshness, all of this um, really beating myself up that really turned that pain into suffering, right? That added more pain onto that pain. And there's something else the angels were saying about that. And just recently, <laughs> like all this stuff that I'm going through while I'm helping my mom through the cancer journey is such an initiation in learning how to be gentle and compassionate with myself because I'm in a little bit in over my head with how intense all of the, um, just everything that's going on, everything that's unfolding. And I'm just so um, grateful for this practice of self-compassion, for this um, ability to receive that compassion from my angels that really calms the inner critic, that really calms that, um, that inner harshness that can get triggered around um, just all of the layers. And, and of course, she's actually in physical pain. So there's a whole, and then I see too, a lot of times her being hard on herself when she's in pain and, and how painful that is. I mean, it's painful to experience and witness, but it's also, I'm sure, very painful for her. So just really acknowledging all of that and, um, yeah, welcoming the angels of compassion. I really feel them here right now. Um, and I feel like they were saying something else. I wanted to listen. Thank you. Thank you, angels. <laughs> okay, I just wanted to check. <laughs> so, self-compassion. I share a little bit about self-compassion in in my debut book, there's uh, a couple of pages about it. And what would the angels wanted to highlight for this Facebook Live was sort of the, just like the, the importance of self-compassion and really sort of kind of outlining what it is and what, it, what it's not and what it is so that what I'm hearing the angels say, thank you angels, is so that you can commit to this practice to and what their thank you angel saying is you know this practice the practice of self-compassion is non-negotiable on the path of the earth angel in order to heal your pain in order to receive angelic pain relief in order to get to that next level of healing of evolution self-compassion is essential it's not it's really non-negotiable it's it, it's the most important practice that you can do is holding yourself in loving kindness and holding yourself, your pain, your vulnerabilities, your issues with this beautiful tenderness um, and this beautiful com you know, compassion and self-compassion for, for what you're going through. And I mean, I literally don't think I would be standing here today if I didn't have the practice of self-compassion. Um, for, like I said, these many, many layers going on with helping my mom through the cancer journey and 
all the other uh, uh, really hard initiations that I've been through. Um, so there was something else the angels were saying about self-compassion they wanted to name right now. So it's really this, you know, this, this loving, it's this self-love, you know, self-compassion is this tenderness and sweetness for yourself, toward yourself. Um, and it's really this gentleness um, that is, it is the way that this gentleness, this self-compassion has this ability, it's magnetic, and has this ability to open your heart to open your, your chakras, to open up your aura and allow the angels love to flow through. So remember, your, your team of angels is around you right now and they love you unconditionally. They're always with you. They're always sending you love. One thing I talk about in my book is not, it's not like sometimes the angels are sending you love and, and sometimes they're not sending you love. They're always sending you love. And it's your job, your responsibility, right, through this practice of self-compassion to receive their love. And what gets in the way is that inner harshness, that inner critic, that self-berating, that self-judgment, um, right, of that pain. So it's sort of pain on top of pain. And the other thing the angels are reminding me about pain, you know, of course, from the angelic perspective, pain as a teacher, um, is that your angels, this is why I love working with the angels, right? They have unlimited, I, and when I say this, I'm trying to like have their energy come through, right? Unlimited, infinite compassion for your human journey. Take that in, breathe that in. And all we have to do is slow down and receive it breathe and receive it allow so we don't have to like drum up all of this self-compassion for this really hard thing we're going through we need to to open up and let ourselves receive what's already there and here's the other thing about pain that the angels are talking about is that they this is why i love working with them right your angels never judge your they never judge you they never judge your pain they never compare your pain this is something earth angels do a lot. <laughs> That's another Facebook live. <laughs> Comparing your pain, minimizing your pain. Like the angels don't ever compare your pain to someone else's pain. That's the ego. The ego does that. Um, you know, that they have so much compassion for your human journey and understanding and respect. That's coming through really powerfully is respect. That was something I've been asking for from a family member, I'm like, you need to respect me. And the angels are like reminding me like, okay, like the angels of self-respect are here. So I love that. Thank you for that download angels. That they have so much respect for your human journey, for your experiences, for the pain that you're experiencing right now. Um, and, and, and of course, so much compassion. So thank you angels for that. So talking a little bit more about self-compassion, you know, sort of understanding what it's not. So self-compassion is not passive. It's not, it's not weakness, but it's also not for the weak. One of the things my teacher taught me is, right, it takes no effort to judge yourself. And I was like, oh my God, like I love that, right? It doesn't take any effort to judge or criticize or berate yourself. So it takes no effort to do that. The effort is to have this, this absolutely unconditional compassion and, 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 and self-love for that pain that you're experiencing right now, for that, for that part, for that issue, for that wound. Um, so that's really powerful. Self-compassion is not hiding. It's not hiding from yourself. It's not victim mentality or, 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 or being in the victim consciousness. Um, it's not, it's not, this is, this is interesting. And this sort of feels, it, there's like an expansion to this. So it's not self pity. Self compassion is not self pity or self enabling. So having compassion for yourself is, you know, if you're feeling, if you're in pain and you're starting to feel that judgment come up, um, and to soothe that pain, 
whether it's physical or emotional pain, but we'll say physical pain, to soothe that physical pain, you want to eat a whole thing of ice cream. And you're like, oh, I'm going to be compassionate with myself and eat that whole thing of ice cream. That, right, that's not self-compassion, right? That's indulging. <laughs> So it's not innate self-enabling um, um, unhealthy behaviors, right? It's not like, oh, I'm gonna have that extra glass of wine because I'm gonna be more compassionate with myself. That's not, that's indulging, right? That's enabling yourself to sort of stay stuck <laughs> and probably stuck in that pattern of self-judgment as well. So um, thank you for naming that, angels. There was something else they were saying Yeah, so self-compassion, and that's what they, the other piece about it. Thank you. And I said this before, but they're bringing it back. Like, it's not passive, right? It's an active practice. So we have to actively, consciously choose self-compassion in each moment. Um, and here's what's really great, because the angels are reminding me, we can welcome and invite the angels of self-compassion. We can welcome and invite Archangel Zadkiel, who will come in the meditation today. The, the, in, my, in my book, um, Archangel Zadkiel is one of the angels of compassion. He's the angel of compassion. He's the angel of the heart chakra. Really inviting you into that vibration, that he holds and anchors that vibration. And when you call Archangel Zadkiel in, um, you know, the keeper of the violet flame, the spiritual professor, the, you know, again, one of the angels of the angelic energy of compassion. It, what he's saying is, he, like, he can raise your vibration and support you in activating that self compassion That's in what they're saying is the seed of self-compassion in your heart, um, which is really beautiful. Thank you, angels. Um, this is really a courageous practice. You know, again, it's not for the weak, right? Um, this is not for the faint of heart. It is incredibly courageous to hold yourself in compassion when you are in pain, when you are judging yourself. And then, of course, the judgment adding to the pain, right? When you are being hard on yourself to to pause, which is what this meditation today will be about, to pause and let yourself receive this beautiful compassion um, that's, that's both within you because it is the essence of your soul and it is all around you um, in your, in, within your team of angels, right? Really the energy of source. Um, Self-compassion is, is, is really vulnerable. It's really tender. You'll actually know you know, our parts and our ego can resist tenderness and vulnerability so much, right? It's so much easier just sometimes the pattern, right, of, of just kind of grinning and bearing it, pushing it through, like just, you know, try getting through it, you know, and to really let yourself be tender, to let yourself be vulnerable. You'll really know you're on the path of self-compassion if you're feeling that tenderness, if you're feeling that vulnerable, that sort of that little bit of vulnerability, that little bit of shakiness. Um, that's, a, that's a good sign that you're, that you're welcoming the medicine of self-compassion into your heart and into your aura, into your body. Um, self-compassion is, is all about seeing yourself fully. And, and in, in my book, what I, what I write about is that you know, it's easy to love our our joyful parts, right? Love the parts of us that are happy and, and joyful and, um, right, open-minded. But to love, to see, to hold in compassion those parts of us that are angry, the parts of us that are judgmental, the parts of us that are hurting, that's, that's the growth. And that's the medicine of, that's what self-compassion offers is this, and it's so powerful, really feeling Archangel Ariel, Archangel Zadkiel here, um, supporting that, that healing that can happen when you see yourself fully. And really self-compassion is about having your own back. That's what the angels want to, you know, of course, having your own back 
knowing the angels have your back, but having your own back that you are not going to belittle yourself, berate yourself, judge yourself, shame yourself when you're in pain. And this, again, is such a practice. Um, it, you know, those patterns I'm seeing kind of like those trend, like the angels are showing me like kind of trenches, you know, the, the pattern of self-judgment, of inner harshness, of an inner critic, it is a deep trench. And it takes just this beautiful, you know, devotion, right? Devote and redevote over and over again to, to reclaim that, the energy of self-compassion for yourself. So I hope that's helpful for you. Um, before we go into the meditation, I just want to invite you to join me <laughs> um, and enroll in the Angel Love Circle. I am so happy about this offering. It's a three-month group coaching membership um, where you are, um, I really help you to develop and, and deepen your connection to your angels to really create and to create and and deepen an, an intimate relationship with your angels so that you can really open up this pathway of self-compassion so that you can really open up this um to really heal that pain that you're experiencing right now and and, and heal and the angels reminding me, really transform, right? To take that pain and turn it into peace. To take that wound, that judgment, and transform it into compassion. That is the that is the medicine of the angels, the alchemy of the angels. And really, um, you know, it's all about slowing down, um, you know, cherishing your body, making time to relax and, and tune in and um, really work the medicine of the practices in my book. So you can read about that on my website, jillkempnerhealing.com, um, under mini programs. And there is a, there's a new member offer on there. And there's also, if you sign up by the 15th, you actually get all of this. So the membership is from April, May, and June. So it's April through June. But if you sign up by March 15th, you actually get the coach calls in March for free. So um, yeah, you can read about that on my website. If you have any questions, you can email me. I would love to connect with you in that way. And um, uh, yeah, have you be in the angel love circle with us. So all right, my dears, we're going to do a short meditation. It's going to be infused with Angel Reiki. I am so excited about this. I'm partly for time. Um, let me just listening to the angels. And then I will pull an oracle card. So uh, I'm so happy that you're here. Um, I'm going to have, yes, hi, Amy. Happy Friday. Um, so let's just go ahead and take some cleansing breaths. And closing your eyes if it's available for you. Otherwise, you can just soften your gaze. And in this moment, tuning in to your body, just noticing how your body feels in this moment. And really tuning in to how you feel that you are safe to honor to trust, to know how you feel in this moment without sugarcoating it. <laughs> Just this honest moment. And really knowing that your angels are here. They are loving and welcoming all of you. So they welcome those, those big feelings, those intense parts so as you breathe feel their love <sighs> and feel your body and soul cherishing each other as you breathe really trusting you're exactly where you're meant to be can already feel the angels of pain relief, the angels of self-compassion here. I feel a lot around the shoulders. They're just clearing your shoulders <laughs> of all those shoulds and shouldn'ts. 
And we invite your angels and guardian angels here. We invite the angels of compassion. And we invite Archangel Zadkael, the keeper of the violet flame, the spiritual professor, the angel of compassion, to surround each of you in a circle of healing light. You are the keeper of your mind and body, and we welcome only those angels and guides that love you unconditionally. So as you breathe, just relaxing, relaxing your back, your neck, your shoulders. I'm feeling your face and jaw. So feel this wave of relaxation flow from the crown of your head down, down your body, your shoulders, your spine, your legs, and your feet. As you sink your energetic roots into the earth. So feel the grounding the safety, the compassion of Mother Earth's love for you. Feel her receiving you. And trust the wisdom of your roots to connect with everyone here live, to connect with everyone connecting and, and listening and watching the replay. That we're all here together. And your roots connecting with the the medicine of the earth, the crystals, the tree roots, all of the ancestor medicine. And this beautiful container is helping you release more and receive more. So with your roots in the earth, gently renew your devotion. So bringing your hands to your heart, the gateway of your angel's love, or just your attention there and silently saying, I am devoted to receiving self-compassion from my angels. Open your heart to your angel's love. I am devoted to receiving self-compassion from my angels. Aligning your mind, your consciousness with divine mind. And one more time, I am devoted to receiving self-compassion from my angels. So just breathe and feel your angels' devotion for you. Receive your angels' devotion for you. <clears throat> Beautiful. And as you breathe in this moment, we welcome the medicine of relax and cherish your body. So welcoming physical relaxation. Again, just softening your muscles from your bones, letting go of tension from your body and sinking into those energetic roots. Breathing and welcoming emotional relaxation. So feeling your beautiful guardian angels, feeling their loving presence, making room for all of you, all of your feelings, all of your parts, all of your emotions are welcome. And there's space for the inner critic. There's space for the self-judgment. There's space for the harsh part. As you breathe, we welcome mental relaxation. So focusing on your breath, allowing your thoughts to slow down. I just learned this beautiful feather breath to have such a, so you visualize a, a feather just below your nose. And as you breathe in and breathe out, you don't do, do not disturb the feather. Just notice how spacious that breath is, the feather breath. 
how light that breath is. And that space between your thoughts, inviting miracles, inviting your intuition, divine solutions. And as you breathe, we welcome spiritual relaxation, space for grace. And you can surrender this self-judgment, this pain, the, the pain of self-judgment to your beautiful angels. Just feel the angels lifting, clearing. I feel like the layers, the soot from your aura, from your chakras. as we welcome the medicine of release and lead with your heart. So inviting your this part that's in pain, whether it's it could be self-judgment or harshness, it could be physical, a part that has physical pain, bringing it into your heart temple. So seeing your, your majestic, joyful, spacious heart temple. It's just so beautiful. This is the safest place for you to be. It's the center of self-compassion in your, in your body. And we just welcome the medicine of any releasing that can happen. So your soul, your guardian angels, Archangel Zadkael, Archangel Zadkael sending you this beautiful angel Reiki to this part. Trusting that releasing happens in layers and your body, you may need, your body may need to move. Your emotions may be rising and falling and that's all totally normal. Hello, welcome. Hmm. So there may be emotions as you release. And I feel Zadka, Archangel Zadkael there just channeling this beautiful compassion, this deep understanding and respect and compassion to this wound, to this pain. And inviting the lesson the blessing, the medicine of this self-judgment. What lesson am I learning from self-judgment? What lesson am I learning from this harshness, from this self-criticism? Just breathe and listen, breathe and receive. And knowing you're safe to release, let go, unburden, unwind. And notice that the releasing may be happening through your roots. It may be happening out of your heart or out of your aura, or maybe even off your shoulders. So just honor what you're feeling in this moment. Trust that. And we welcome the medicine of receive and trust your intuition. So again, just feeling Archangel Zadkael's beautiful presence He's the keeper of the violet flame, the spiritual professor, one of the angels of compassion. And he's just infusing your aura right now with this beautiful vibration of unconditional compassion. This deep respect and understanding of your journey and the journey uh, to angelic pain relief. So just receive, trust what you're sensing, what you're hearing, what you're feeling. And allowing your guardian angels to gently connect with your intuitive channels. They're particularly working with clairsentience. So the, the lower chakras, and that also includes your heart chakra as well. Whew. 
So they're just opening that intuitive channel so that you can receive this next level of self-compassion. You are safe to receive, to allow, to integrate the self-compassion into your energetic body and into your physical body. So just breathe and receive this now. All the Reiki blessings flowing in to your chakra temples. Now that's happening in all of the chakras. So each of the chakra temples. So it's through the aura and then where the aura meets the chakra. Right, those spinning energy centers that run along the length of the spine. The angel receivers. So we welcome the medicine of the angelic vibration of just anything else. So just keep receiving your next level of self-compassion. And I'm feeling the angel showing you, hearing this question, where can I be more compassionate with myself? What part of my body can I have more compassion for? What part can I have more compassion for? <laughs> Thank you. How can I be more, more compassionate where do I need more self-compassion in my body, in my heart, in my life? <sighs> so reconnecting now with your roots of light, those beautiful roots that were in deep in the earth and, and connected to each other in the heart of the earth. And when you inhale, disengage from the group, draw your roots back. And then when you exhale, send your roots, exhale them to the heart of the earth, back to the heart of Pachamama. Thank you, Mother Earth, thank you. Sending her a beautiful blessing. Thank you for your abundance, your compassion, your bounty, your generosity, your love. We welcome it and we send it to you. Thank you, Mother Earth, thank you. And we bring our, as we seal our inner journey, we bring our hands to our heart. In prayer mudra, we ask that all the healing that you receive today be shared with all our relations in all directions of time. Beautiful, feel your angels bowing to you with love with devotion and with deep, deep, deep compassion as we seal our inner journey with a namaste. Namaste, everyone. Huh, beautiful. Well, I wanna thank you so much for taking the time to be here. I wanna pull an oracle card. Um, <laughs> and for those of you who, who, who hopped on towards the end, you can go ahead and um, start from the beginning and watch the teaching. Um, so how can you have, how is it that you are getting to your next level of self-compassion, really this next level of self-compassion over this weekend, today and this weekend? I love this deck by Kyle Gray, Harmony and Resolution, yay! So <laughs> this is the um, Angel Kide deck by Kyle Gray. I feel like this is a message directly from your guardian angels and how are we gonna get to that next level of self-compassion, angels of harmony, angels of resolution. Oh my gosh, so happy about this because I feel like I need a lot of resolutions right now. Uh, <clears throat> and it's like, huh, right? Um, asking for the highest good, asking for the, the, the resolution, the solution, the divine solution, right? The miracle to appear, inviting that, really commanding that is what I'm hearing, which is so powerful, right? As an earth angel, we can command miracles, right? We can create miracles. So this is saying that this weekend, you know, being gentle with your, with those parts. Yes, you're welcome. Yes, I agree. You know, that there is a hot, there is the highest good and highest healing are, are unfolding right now. And we 
put on those miracle minded glasses, right? And see the miracle. We and and how, what are those miracle minded glasses, right? It's the glasses of self compassion, seeing yourself through the eyes of self compassion, seeing others through the lens of, of compassion. Um, and in and, and, and truly inviting the angels of harmony, the angels of resolution to support that level of compassion for you. I'm also feeling that sometimes the, the angels are coming through and saying like harmony and resolution can be take a step back, right? To take a step back, right? What is for you won't go by you and pause to let yourself receive that self-compassion. Know that there is a a beautiful resolution um, for that for that issue um, for that worry for that wound and that you are you are the you're inviting that you're welcoming that you're bringing that so I really love that I felt like he was saying something the angels were saying something else and I feel like they want me to read one thing from here um, Okay, that is funny because I did not know that this was in here. Take a step back to collect your thoughts and breathe. Angels cannot help you unless you create space for them to intervene. And they are with you now and willing to restore peace. So how perfect because I'm also feeling on a global level to be sending the angels of harmony and the angels of resolution to the Ukraine, to Russia, um, really knowing that we can make a difference when we heal the inner war within us, when we heal the inner conflict, when we heal the inner you know, self-judgment, the inner critic, this is healing the world. And so this work, again, it's not for the faint of heart, it's incredibly courageous and um, it's a practice. So I hope this was helpful for you. I look forward to seeing you soon. Um, one more invitation is next Saturday. I will be at Relax for Life in person. I am so excited to be sharing the medicine of my book and we're going to be focused on relax and cherish your body. So moving through and flowing through the levels of relaxation, tuning into your energy body um, for your next level of angelic pain relief. So all that information is on my website and uh, I would love for you to join us. You actually also get a copy of my book as part of the um, investment in the class. So how exciting is that? If you already have one, then you have a gift to give your friend or your family member, your loved one, which is so awesome. And uh, we get to hang out together, me, you, and your angels. So <laughs> I would love to see you there. Um, it's next Saturday, which is March 19th, which is like the eve of the equinox. So it's equinox eve, it's full moon. So, oh my gosh, there's going to be so many portals of awesome energy open for us to um, really get to your next level of angelic pain relief and self-compassion. So I, I hope to see you there and um, thank you for those who are already registered. So I love you all. Hello, welcome. Hi, Marie. Namaste. Um, you can go ahead and catch the replay. So yeah, all right. <laughs> that was fun. I'll see you guys soon. Namaste. Bye, everyone. Have a great weekend. <laughs> Angels of Harmony and Resolution. Yay. <laughs>